This is News Today. Sawadee so Car. The Christmas story that just keeps giving, ah yes, that addictive element New Year's Eve party is back in the news again. This time the organisers are suing one of Thai TV's best known talk show hosts, Woody Millen Tajinda. An interview on his TV show has prompted the latest legal action against a list of suitors who announced plans to sue the organisers of the party over a range of complaints about the New Year's Eve party on Patong Beach. It's not yet known when or even the defamation suits will go to court. Defamation suits are routinely used in Thailand, particularly in politics, as a way to gag critics and opponents. Mr. Wutitorn, whose show airs on Channel 9, was named Television Host of the Year last Tuesday at the Nine Entertainment Awards. The prospect of jailed convicts finishing their sentences outside bars has raised scepticism among experts and the public. A Justice Ministry regulation which took effect on the 22nd of March will allow some prisoners to be freed from jail early and to wear electronic wristbands and to keep them confined to a home or a geographical area. The key objective behind releasing and tagging certain inmates is reducing overcrowding in jails, which suggests that the criteria for who can be released under the tagging scheme might have to be broadened. Critics of the scheme have expressed fears over the prospect of serious offenders such as drug convicts or violent criminals being released back into society prematurely. The Immigration Police are urging all hotels, resorts and other accommodation providers, including owners of villas for rent, to begin reporting details of foreigners staying with them by the end of April or face prosecution. Captain Ankan Yasinop confirmed that this includes owners of private homes when they have foreign friends or relatives staying with them, whether they pay for accommodation or not. He said, we're trying to publicise this before we begin doing random checks. Owners or managers can report in three ways, by going to the Phuket Immigration Office, by mail or by making an online report. The penalty for failing to report is 8,000 baht per guest per day. The sites of pitched battles between people on the back of pickup trucks during Songkran are history. That's according to the Road Safety Centre. Vehicles are going to be banned from carrying water to try and reduce deaths in the annual water fight. Strictly targeted this year will be water carried by vehicles, driving under the influence, speeding and overloaded vehicles and other violations. There were 859 fatalities and 10,608 injuries caused by road accidents during Songkran around Thailand from 2009 to 2011, according to the National Statistics Office. Phuket Football Club's away victory against TTM Lopuri in Bangkok last night has propelled the Islanders to the number two spot in their league division, one of the berths earmarked for promotion into the Thai Premier League. The Islanders scored the only goal of the match from a long-range free kick in the 83rd minute for a final score of 0-1 to the visitors. The result helped push Phuket Football Club to the second place in the Yamaha League One table. And we'll finish today's program with some of the events over the weekend around the island. There's a full coverage of the week's events and news on our other programs. You can find them by going to thephuketnews.com and clicking TV at the top of the page. And by watching KPP Cable Channel 1 at 7 and 11pm every day. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Ready! <laughs> okay.